holistic health and well-being. Holistic health or holistic healing is often defined as a form of healing that looks at the whole person, body, mind and spirit. Holistic healing is actually an approach to life. Well-being is the experience of health, happiness and prosperity. It includes having a good mental health, high life satisfaction, a sense of meaning or purpose and ability to manage stress. Manage stress. Well-being means to be well. A state of health in mind, body and emotions balanced through the act of self-care. It includes so many positive things like feeling happy, healthy, socially connected and purposeful. Holistic health and well-being is the practice of treating the whole mind, body and spirit. Holistic health and well-being are an important aspect of life. Importance of holistic health and well-being Holistic wellness methods combine traditional medicine with a whole health approach. Providers seek to help patients not only achieve relief from symptoms and diseases, but to address underlying lifestyle and nutrition choices which can create illness and disease in the first place. Building well-being skills is perhaps most beneficial for people struggling the most, particularly if they have recently undergone something stressful. It may be harder to build well-being during this time, but the impact may be greater because there is more room for improvement. Five aspects of holistic health and well-being. When it comes to holistic health and well-being, we are looking beyond the physical body and are addressing physical, emotional, social, spiritual and intellectual health. All of these five aspects of holistic health and well-being are what enables a person to truly live each day in the healthiest, happiest way possible. And if one area is compromised, most likely other areas will be as well. Physical health. Our physical health is what most people think about when they think of health. This is mostly because it is the physical body that often shows up physical signs and symptoms of either optimal or suboptimal health. These physical signs and symptoms are also easier to track and measure versus other non-physical signs and symptoms that can feel more abstract. When it comes to supporting your physical health, there are a few key practices that everyone can benefit from, like Sleeping for 8 hours each night, this will allow our body to truly rest and repair from the day. Eat a nutrient-dense diet that is high in plant-based foods and organic pastured animal products and etc. Emotional health and well-being while often overlooked, our emotional health is just as important as our physical health, especially because our emotional health can affect our physical health if not prioritized. People who are emotionally healthy are in control of their thoughts, feelings and behaviors. Ways you can support your emotional health are seek out therapy when needed. Therapy is an essential part of supporting our emotional health and should be utilized whenever necessary. Practice mindfulness and stress reduction habits that can help you better manage your life's daily stressors. Keep a journal to record your thoughts and feelings. Use your journal to record what you are grateful for as it can help bring positivity in times of stresses. Social health and well-being. Social health is more than just the prevention of mental illness and social problems. Being socially healthy means increased degree of happiness, including sense of belonging and concern for others. Research has shown that the happiest people on earth have deep connections with their friends, family and community. Social health is a very important aspect of holistic health. A few ways by which we can improve our social health are make time for in-person connection while technology has allowed for us to feel connected more. Research has shown that virtual connection still does not provide us with the same level of happiness as in-person connection does. Set boundaries with people in your life that may increase stress or bring out toxic energy. Also do not be afraid to walk away from the friendships and relationships that are negatively affecting your health. Spiritual health and well-being. 
Spiritual wellness does not necessarily mean that you need to become religious. Instead, your spiritual health should focus on how you are connecting with your inner soul and the greater world around you. Ways to improve your spiritual health are spend time in nature, practice meditation, practice yogic asanas. If you are religious, take time to practice your faith. Mental health and well-being. Our mental health refers to our cognitive abilities that affect how our brain functions. Ways that you can support your mental health are always keep your mind active by seeking out learning opportunities and problem solving practices that challenge your brain. Avoid excessive drinking, smoking and consuming recreational drugs. Consume nutrient dense foods that are high in antioxidants and omega 3 fatty acids that will help reduce overall inflammation and support cognitive function. Improve gut health with gut healing foods like bone broth and prebiotic and probiotic rich foods. Since the brain is directly connected to the gut, a healthy gut is essential for a healthy mind. Cope with stress and become an emotionally resilient person. What is stress? Stress is described as the pattern of responses an individual makes to stimulus event that disturbs the equilibrium and exceeds a person's ability to cope all the challenges, problems and difficult circumstances put us to stress. Signs and Symptoms of Stress The way we respond to stress varies upon our personality, early upbringing and life experiences. Everything has their own pattern of stress response, so the warning signs may vary, but some commonly observed signs of stress are lack of concentration, poor decision making, inconsistency, depression, headache, extreme mood swings, difficulties with sleep, backache, irregular timekeeping. How to cope with stress? First, follow stress management techniques like relaxation techniques, meditation, exercise, creative visualization and so on. Second, develop life skills like assertiveness, self-care, time management, rational thinking and overcome unhelpful habits. Third, build positive health by eating healthy, exercising, maintaining social support, positive attitude and thinking. Fourth, become a stress resistant person by developing three C's in oneself. These three C's are commitment, control, and challenge. Lastly, use coping strategies to overcome stress. Become an emotionally resilient person. Emotional resilience refers to one's ability to adapt to stressful situation. It has been described as the capacity to bounce back in the face of stress and adversity. Following can help one become an emotionally resilient person. First, learning time management helps relieve the pressure. Second, one should think rationally as many stress-related problems occur as a result of disordered thinking. Third, we should focus on self-care as keeping ourselves fit and healthy enable us to tackle everyday stresses. Fourth, we should overcome unhelpful habits like avoidance, procrastination, etc. Fifth, eating a balanced diet lifts one's mood and prevents illness which is beneficial in stressful situation. Sixth, use your support network as sometimes just telling your close ones how you are feeling can make a big difference. Seventh, sometimes all you need is a break, spend some free time or you may even go on a trip. Role of Naturopathy in Holistic Health आप सभी को मेरा नमस्कार मैं संगीता वर्मा आज आपको प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा या नेचुरोपैथी क्या है इसके बारे में कुछ जानकारी दूंगी और फिजिकल हेल्थ व मेंटल हेल्थ में नेचुरोपैथी किस प्रकार हमारी हेल्प करता है नेचुरोपैथी या प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा क्या है प्राकृतिक तरीकों और प्राकृतिक तत्वों का कंबाइंड उपयोग करके किसी बीमार व्यक्ति को स्वस्थ बनाना ही प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा है आज के वातावरण में विद्यार्थी आचार्य वे अन्य सभी तनावग्रस्त स्थिति में हैं। कभी स्कूल खुलते हैं तो कभी स्कूल बंद हो जाते हैं चारों ओर अनिश्चितता का माहौल है ऐसे में हमारा मानसिक व शारीरिक स्वास्थ्य दोनों ही गड़बड़ा रहे हैं 
दवाइयों से हम उसको सुधारने की कोशिश तो करते हैं परंतु दवाइयां अपना साइड इफेक्ट डालकर एक रोग व एक समस्या को ठीक करती है तो दूसरी समस्या उनसे उत्पन्न हो जाती है ऐसी परिस्थिति में उत्तम स्वास्थ्य के लिए नेचुरोपैथी व योग दोनों बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण प्रक्रिया है हालांकि योग के द्वारा हम ईश्वर प्राप्ति का कदम उठाते हैं वे मानसिक स्वास्थ्य के लिए योग व प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा एक अनुपम संगम है द्वारा हम अपने शरीर व मन को स्वस्थ रखते हैं और प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा के माध्यम से शरीर को साफ करके पांचों तत्वों की प्राप्ति करते हैं हमारा शरीर पंच तत्वों अर्थात फाइव एलिमेंट्स अग्नि वायु जल पृथ्वी आकाश से बना हुआ है उत्तम स्वास्थ्य के लिए यह पांचों तत्व हमारे शरीर के लिए बहुत ही आवश्यक हैं। तभी हमारे शरीर के सभी नो के नो सिस्टम पूरी तरह से सक्रिय अवस्था में कार्य करते हैं परंतु हमारे आज के रहन सहन खान पान उठना बैठना सोना जागना विचारना वातावरण और परिस्थिति के कारण शरीर में वेस्ट मटेरियल या विजातीय द्रव इकट्ठा होने लगता है जिसके कारण हमारे ऑर्गन्स सिस्टम अच्छे तरीके से अपना कार्य नहीं कर पाते एक तरह से हम कह सकते हैं कि हमारे ऑर्गन सिस्टम के बीच में कचरा फंस जाता है जिससे वह अपना कार्य भली भांति नहीं कर पाते प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा के माध्यम से एक नेचुरोपैथ एक रोगी के शरीर से इस कचरे को बाहर निकालता है और रोगी की हीलिंग पावर को सपोर्ट देता है अब शरीर के सभी अंग तंत्र अपना कार्य पूर्ण रूप से करने लगते हैं जिससे हमें शारीरिक व मानसिक दोनों प्रकार का स्वास्थ्य प्राप्त होता है प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा मूल रूप से सभी रोगों का कारण शरीर में रुकने वाले वेस्ट मटेरियल या गंदगी को मानता है इसलिए शरीर से उस वेस्ट मटेरियल को बाहर निकालने के लिए प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा के अनुसार प्राकृतिक उपचार में शारीरिक रोगों के उपचार की व्यवस्था तो पंच महाभूतों से हो जाती है जैसे मिट्टी चिकित्सा इसमें भी कई प्रकार की चिकित्सा दी जाती है उपचार दिए जाते हैं जल चिकित्सा जल चिकित्सा में भी कई प्रकार के उपचार हैं मालिश चिकित्सा उपवास चिकित्सा सूर्य किरण चिकित्सा आहार चिकित्सा वायु चिकित्सा से के रूप में विकसित किया किंतु मानसिक स्वास्थ्य के लिए इन सभी चिकित्सा के साथ साथ योग चिकित्सा व प्रार्थना चिकित्सा की मदद भी ली जाती है क्योंकि रोग का असली कारण तो मन में है इसलिए मन की चिकित्सा के लिए योग के विभिन्न प्रकार के आसन प्राणायाम सूर्य नमस्कार के साथ साथ ध्यान का अभ्यास भी रोगी को कराया जाता है साथ में प्रार्थना अर्थात अपनी श्रद्धा के अनुसार ईश्वर के नाम का स्मरण भी कराया जाता है हम इन सभी का प्रयोग करके बिना मेडिसिन खाए अपने संपूर्ण स्वास्थ्य को प्राप्त कर सकते हैं आज जरूरत है इस बात की कि हम जीवन शैली को सुधारें अपने खान पान को प्राकृतिक और सादगी पूर्ण रखें तथा व्यायाम और पर्याप्त निद्रा पर ध्यान दें इससे न केवल हम बहुत सारी शारीरिक व मानसिक समस्याओं से बच सकेंगे बल्कि समस्या होने पर भी कर सकेंगे प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा और प्राकृतिक जीवन पद्धति को अपनाते हुए और प्रकृति के साथ मिलकर चलने से हम इस चिंता युक्त वातावरण में खुद का अपने परिवार का और अपने समाज को शारीरिक और मानसिक रूप से अधिक स्वस्थ और सबल बना सकते हैं आप सभी अपने परिवार के साथ शारीरिक व मानसिक रूप से स्वस्थ रहें यही मंगल कामना के साथ
आप सभी को मेरा नमस्कार रोल ऑफ फिजिकल फिटनेस इन होलिस्टिक हेल्थ फिजिकल एक्टिविटी कीप्स द बॉडी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड हेल्दी एंड कैन इम्प्रूव मेंटल हेल्थ बाई डिक्रीजिंग सिम्टम्स ऑफ डिप्रेशन एंजाइटी पेन एंड लोनलीनेस फिजिकल एक्टिविटी कैन ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव फोकस स्कूल परफॉर्मेंस स्लीप एंड एनर्जी लेवल्स दोज हु पार्टिसिपेट इन रेगुलर फिजिकल एक्टिविटी इंजॉय इम्प्रूव रिलेशनशिप एंड मोर पॉजिटिव बॉडी इमेज Exercise leads to improved motor skills such as hand-eye coordination, better thinking, problem solving, stronger attention skills and improved learning. Not surprisingly, these all combine to benefit school performance. Even the simple act of playing outside with friends has been linked to children performing better on tests and assignments. Children with an active lifestyle have shown positive influences on their overall health. Physical activity even helps prevent chronic diseases such as obesity, certain cancers, type 2 diabetes and coronary heart diseases throughout the life span. Greetings to all of you. Today I will speak a few things about importance of physical fitness and wellness. Physical fitness and wellness are really significant for leading a happy and well balanced life. These are necessary for reducing the risk of heart and lung diseases. Physically fit individuals tend to have lower resting blood pressure. Everyone wants to maintain one's physical fitness to perform the routine work easily. That is why it is said that physical fitness adds years to one's life. Many people are under the impression that physical fitness is necessary only for the sports person because they participate in vigorous activities of sports and games. They are not aware of the fact that physical fitness and wellness are necessary for a common person also. Although we know that physical fitness may differ according to the task to be performed, still a certain level of physical fitness is necessary for a common man. Physical fitness is also important for daily activities like walking, running, lifting and carrying weights. Physical fitness also improves posture and appearance. It changes our lifestyle. If we want to lead a healthy life, it is necessary to be physically fit. Doctors indicate that physical fitness maintains muscular tissues, decreases the risk of injury and reduces lower back pain. They also assert that muscular problems usually arise due to lack of physical fitness by being physically fit may be may remain active research also shows that the children who include physical fitness in early life are likely to remain active in future physical fitness and wellness play a key role in improving the mental ability also this tends to enhance productivity and quality of work in fact the complete efficiency level of an individual is enhanced a physically fit person can manage stress easily efficiently and effectively because such a person has positive attitude towards stress he or she consider stress as a force for motivation research studies shows that physically fit person use the stress advantageously such persons can combat stress due to better health status they are more resistant to the effects of stress than physically less fit individuals due to physical fitness and wellness a person feels better looks better as a matter of fact physical fitness and wellness program help to enjoy a healthy mind and a healthy body which ultimately boost and enhance self confidence of an individual It has also been observed that physically fit individuals are more capable to meet the challenges of life. Several studies have proven that physical fitness increases the resistance power against diseases, which finally increases the life expectancy. That is why it is said that physical fitness is helpful in postponing the ages aging process. So it can be concluded that physical fitness and wellness are necessary. for everyone in every facet of life the level of being well and physically fit may differ from a common man to an international athlete so more and more stress should be laid 
on the physical fitness of individuals. We should never forget that Battle of Waterloo was won at the playfield of Eton. Only the physical fitness and wellness of people can make a nation strong. Even Swami Vivekananda also said that today we do not need Bhagavad Gita but football field. Thank you. Conclusion To conclude, one can achieve holistic health and well being by taking care of oneself physically and mentally. One must engage in physical activities like yoga, aerobics, jogging, walking, and so on and eat a healthy and balanced diet. A balanced diet and regular exercise can lift one's mood, give more energy, feed muscles, improve circulation, prevent illness, strengthen the immune system and make one feel better to cope with the stresses of life. Along with these two, one can take benefit from applying the techniques of naturopathy in one's life to cope with daily stressors and help us become emotionally resilient people. Finally, a healthy body with a healthy mind gives a healthy, happy human. Thank you.